so I am going to be doing a get ready with me today. It's going to be a talk through where I'm doing a voiceover. I'm not going to be talking to you while I do my makeup. This is the makeup I do and I just feel like wearing makeup to work. So if you would like to see this, keep watching. First, I'm starting off with my Kate Somerville Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer because it really hydrates my dry skin and keeps my makeup from caking up in places. I always use an upward motion when putting my moisturizer on because that helps to prevent wrinkles. Then I'm going to prime my skin. I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer to fill in my pores and blur out any texture I have. It also provides me with a blank canvas to work with. As you can see, it does have a white cast, but that's gone once I apply my foundation. For a little bit of color correction under my eyes, I'm using the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage Gel. This really helps to depuff the bags under my eyes, and the orange color helps to combat the darkness I have on my eyelids and around my eyes. I'm using my ring finger because that finger has the least amount of pressure and you want to be gentle when touching around your eyes. Color correct around my face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange. I'm applying this to anywhere I know usually casts a gray shadow over my foundation. These spots tend to be around my nose, the corners of my mouth, under my eyes, and blemishes that have popped up around my face. So I have some on my jawline, on my cheek, and I also like to apply this to the side of my forehead. I then move on to use a damp beauty blender to blend this out, and you'll see that it does blend the color out, but it does leave some of it there to help with counteracting the gray shadow. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the MAC Match Master in 5.0. I love this foundation because it contains SPF 15. It's also a very full coverage foundation. Foundation, However, once it's blended out, it really does look like skin. And it's so easy to blend out, especially with the Beauty Blender. I'm going to add on to this the Glam Glow Glow Starter. And this is another moisturizer, but it contains these small iridescents in it that give your skin this glowy look so that you're not too matte. Usually on my full glam days when I'm going off to a party, I usually add the strobe cream to my foundation, but since I had this on hand, I wanted to give it a try to see if it was a great dupe, and I actually really liked it. To highlight and conceal, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Biscuit. This is another one of my Holy Grail products that I love using. It's really easy to blend out. And what I'm doing is I'm applying it to the high points of my face that I want to bring forward. So that's under my eyes, my chin, my forehead, and the very tip of my nose. To set my base and melt everything together into my skin, I'm spraying the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray and allowing that to dry before I start on my brows. For brows, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. I start by combing through my brow hairs and then using the Brow Wiz to shape and fill in any sparse areas. 
When I want a more defined brow, I use the Anastasia Brow Pomade along with concealer to carve them out. The Brow Wiz is easy for days when you need to look refreshed but don't want a lot of makeup. I love this makeup look for work as it's so quick and easy. And I'm also not good with touch-ups throughout the day because I'm so busy teaching. So with this look, I don't really have to worry about that. To prevent my highlight from creasing, I'm going to bake everywhere I applied my concealer. With the layer color from the Shade and Light palette, I'm pressing that into my concealer and not blending it away. With the same palette, I'm going to add some dimension back to my face because the foundation did make my face look a little flat. So with the color somber from the same palette, I'm creating a half three from my temple to my cheekbones. I'm not carving out my cheekbones, I'm just adding some dimension back into my face as well as my jawline. I'm lightly contouring my nose using the NARS Kabuki brush. If you remember this brush, comment down below. It's from the OG Makeup Gurus. I bought it and I don't usually use it, but today I wanted to use it just to contour my nose. I am now brushing away the baking powder and softening up my contour with another brush. I am also using the brush to blend out my foundation as well as my contour lines and just making sure everything is seamless. I am also going to dip that brush into my MAC Studio Fix NC42 powder to blend everything out and set my face all at once. I didn't ha catch a clip of my NC42 powder, but I do use it later on for my eyes and that's where I'll insert a clip of it. Now for my eyes. This is just a simple and quick eye look. I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime and the entire look will be done using the Modern Renaissance palette as well as my NC Studio Fix powder. In the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm dipping into Burnt Orange and applying that all over my lid as my base. This is my favorite base color. As you can see, it's totally out. I use it for almost every single look. After that's all over my lid, I'm then going to use the color Relger. I'm focusing on the outer corner of my crease and lightly bringing it into the rest of my crease, but I want the majority of the color to be focused on the outer crease. To blend those colors together, I'm dipping into the color Raw Sienna and I'm just brushing away any harsh lines, creating a slow transition between those two colors. And then finally, I'm going into my NC42 powder and I'm using this as a shadow on my lids. I wanted my eyes to look very natural, so by using a color close to my skin tone, I was able to create that effect. On my lower lash line, I'm using the color Red Ochre and just lining the bottom of my eyes with that as it helps to really tie the look together.
With the opposite end of that brush, I'm going to then blend everything out once more just to make sure everything is well blended and there are no harsh lines. Finally, I'm curling my lashes and applying mascara. I do use two different mascaras. The first one is They're Real. I like to use this first because it really separates my lashes and it adds some length. And then to add volume, I use the Better Than Sex Mascara. These are my two Holy Grail mascaras. For my cheeks, I'm using a Tarte palette. I got this palette a couple of years ago, so I doubt they still have it out, but the color I'm using from this palette is Fetching. So if you can find this color individually, I truly recommend it. It's one of my favorite blushes. I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and making sure that when I smile, it shows up in the right in the correct spot. Finally, I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray once again. For my lips, I'm using MAC Whirl. This is the perfect nude if you're a tan color like me, but in general, it's just the perfect nude. And just like that, I am done. I hope you enjoyed this look. Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!